everybody and welcome to Art with Miss V. Today I'm so thrilled to bring you a very special art lesson about Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is an American hero. He was a leader of the civil rights movement in America in the 1950s and 1960s. He used nonviolent or peaceful protests to fight for rights of all people regardless of skin color. Martin Luther King Jr. will always be remembered, but this year, more than ever, we need to listen to his words, be inspired by his dreams, and celebrate his life. And Today, life. we're going to draw a portrait of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But before we begin, let's listen to this song and learn a little bit about Dr. King's life and legacy. Everybody, let me talk about Dr. Martin Luther King. He fought for equality and letting freedom ring. Dr. King, a truly great man and a leader for civil rights, fought against prejudice every day and night. Break it down now. Dr. King, Dr. King. Top and said he had a dream where every man had equal rights and opportunities. Yeah. He made a commitment to us all with true determination. Told the world he would help us in all segregation. Washington in 1963, DC, standing up for love and truth, justice was his plea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He made a huge difference for all of us, you see. For now we all know the true meaning of liberty. Yeah, he. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream that one day we would be judged not by the color of our skin, but by the content of our character. Hey, little bro. You ready for the Dr. Martin Luther King celebration? No way, Bert. I'm going to play basketball with my boys. Frankie. Bert, I know who he is anyway. He is the dream speech guy. Yeah. He is more than that. He was a big part in the civil rights movement. Really? I just thought it was all about his speech. No, little bro. It all started for Dr. King, where he was born Michael King Jr. on January 15th, 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. But I thought his name was Martin. It is. Many people don't know that he was born with the name Michael after his father and later changed his name to Martin. That is cool. What else do you know, Bert? He is known in history for being a minister and social activist who helped lead the civil rights movement here in the United States. He even received the Nobel Peace Prize in 1964. Okay, but how did he fight for equal rights? Frankie, even though slavery had ended in history by this time, there were laws in place that did not treat African Americans fairly and used something called segregation, keeping whites separate from African Americans. During this time, there was a young woman who had been thrown in jail for not sitting in the back of the bus, and after her story came out, a woman named Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was also arrested for not sitting in the back of the bus. This is where Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and others helped spread the word about African Americans being treated badly in Montgomery. After fighting for fair treatment, Montgomery stopped forcing African Americans to sit in the back of the bus. But why is he such a big part of black history? Frankie, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. kept going as a leader during the Civil Rights Movement. So what about his I Have a Dream speech? On August 28, 1963, the historic March on Washington happened with over 200,000 people in Washington, D.C. There, Dr. King made his famous I Have a Dream speech, where he let the world know about his belief that someday all people could be brothers and sisters no matter the color of their skin. That is pretty cool, big sis. I know, and even though he was assassinated on April 4, 1968 in Memphis, Tennessee, his life and what he stood for is still remembered in celebrations around the country today. 
All right, now it's time to start our drawing. I'm gonna use marker so it's easier for you to see, but you should use a pencil with an eraser in case you wanna change anything. Draw a light until you get it right. Okay, first turn your paper tall. And somewhere around the middle of your paper, I want you to draw a circle. This is going to be Martin Luther King's head. <laughs> This is no different from any of the other drawings that we do. It's just a person. Remember, it does not have to be perfect. So I drew a circle in the middle of my page. And remember to draw kind of big because we want to make sure we fill our page with art. We wouldn't want to draw a tiny little head over there. So now we're going to draw two curving lines like a waterfall coming out from the head. And that same thing on the other side. Those are going to be his shoulders. And now we're going to draw two straight lines that will make the arms. Okay, and on the other side, good. Now using the letter C, we are going to draw an ear. It's just like a C. Now it's an, a backward C. <laughs> okay. So right around the middle of the head, we are like the top of the ears. We're going to draw two circles for eyes and <clears throat> I'm going to color them in except for one little dot in there that's going to be a highlight. Okay and on top of those eyes I'm going to draw a rainbow shape, a curved line like an upside down U. Good, and now on the other side, an upside down U again. <coughs> the same shape, we're going to draw his nose in the middle. It's going to be an upside down U. Good. Now we have to draw his eyebrows because people look weird without eyebrows. Um, so what I'm going to do is draw His eyebrows on one side and the other side. Good. Under his nose, do you know what goes there? That's right, it's gonna be his mustache. Let me fix that eyebrow. So I'm going to draw just zigzag lines back and forth and back and forth on one side and then I'm gonna go back and forth on the other side, watch how I do it. So I'm just gonna go zigzag, 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 zigzag. And I'm gonna start over here and do it again. Zigzag, 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 zigzag. So I don't like how that's kind of spread apart. I'm just gonna go on top of it and fix it. See? All right, now we need to draw his smile. to draw um, he wears a tie he always wears a tie so let's draw let's see two these lines are gonna go out and then they're gonna come in and then I'm gonna draw two longer lines down and I'm gonna connect them with a V watch how I do this a V ooh I like it so now we're going to be doing um, his collar and we're just gonna go from the top of the tie right here, up there in the corner of his tie, up there. Ooh, now he looks like Steve Harvey. <laughs> so we have to draw his hair, cause he had hair. I'm going to draw a bumpy line, just a bump, bump, bump to make his hair all the way around his head.
fantastic. Well, I hope you had so much fun and I hope you learned a little bit about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Next time we're going to color our portraits and add details to the background. See you next time. Thanks for joining me for Art with Miss V. I'll see you next time.